My name is Midori. Uh, this is my husband, Kenny. Where are the cruises? Where are the cruises? Um, I signed up with CSP in January 2014. I don't know at what point I decided that I wanted to be a surrogate, um, but I had the inkling about it, and um, I had actually run into a high school friend of mine. She and I had gone to school together, and I was at her house hanging out, and she had a picture on her mantle of two little, so her husband is um, African American, and she had two a picture of two little babies on her mantle that were completely Caucasian. So I'm like, okay, those aren't your babies. Who are they? She's like, those are my surrogate babies. And we got to talking, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do that. I just didn't know like how to. And so she hooked me up with CSP, contacted CSP, and um, applied and got accepted, and then um, got matched with our couple. Um, in August of so August last year so 2014 um, got in match with them um, and then everything just went perfectly well with them from the beginning we clicked really well our first transfer was successful and our journey together has just been incredible all along we um, just delivered their little baby boy um, eight weeks ago so he's eight weeks he's he was nine pounds, three ounces. Oh, um, and I tell boy. people, when they ask me about it, I just, you know, they say, how was the delivery? And I had to schedule a cesarean. Um, luckily, the dads were able to be there um, in the room, so the three of them got to be a part of it. And I tell people that the moment, you know, leading up to the delivery, I was so, like, had a little bit of anxiety. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like. You know, I'm already nine months pregnant and huge and uncomfortable, but going into the operating room, I was like, I can't believe I decided to do this. Like, I must be crazy. I'm never going to do this again. And then the moment he was born, like, the, his, to hear his cry and to be in that room of all of us together, it's like I tell people, it's, I can only explain it in a way of, like, imagining little tiny hearts just floating around in the room. Like, it's such a euphoric gratifying feeling it's like this you, when you have your own kids you love your babies like you love them because they're yours and you know but you take it for granted that you're a parent you know it came like pregnancy for me was you know it was normal I didn't have to struggle for it so to to be able to make another couple a family is so is so beyond words so beyond anything that and that could ever, any words could ever explain.